Hey guys, today we're going to be reviewing a fucking binder. Yes, I am out of ideas entirely. No, I uh, wanted to make a video to get myself back in the swing of things so I can make more videos because they've kind of fallen off recently. But uh, here we go. Completely unscripted. I'm going to be reviewing these fucking binders. So here we go. Um, this is the, I'll use this one as an example. This is the Avery Clear Cover Heavy Duty for Extended Use Binder. Um, it's great. I love it. It's got an interior. It's got two pouches on every single side, every single area, so it's very easy to put stuff in. Um, it's even got these nice middle pouches right here, which I really appreciate. It really took a lot of attention to detail. They really cared about their binder production. So, yeah, it's a pretty good binder. Let's talk about what you get when you purchase this binder. All binders come with these things, this piece of paper here, and this sticker on the side. It's about all you get to start with your binder, but you know what, you gotta buy notebooks and stuff on your own. And then you can fill up your binder. Um, the front label, which you can take out and swatch, switch for something else, just like this. Just like this. Um, it says, clear cover, heavy duty for extended use. Dura hinge resists tear. That's very important. This hinge right here resists tearing in the binders. So it's very useful. Everyone goes like this every now and again. Try and just, just demolish their binder because they're tired of taking whatever class they have to take. So they just... So I think that's very useful. Other than that, there's high quality textured material on the binder. As you can see right here. Um, it's like very nicely textured. It's great. I love it. Um, really fun to just rub against your face when you're bored. Just like, oh yeah, that feels so good. And then other than that, it has this one touch open and close thing, which is actually extremely useful and helpful because um, you literally just have to go like this. And it's open. It's beautiful. I know. It's very useful for that. Um, let's compare it to actually another binder we have here. This one is some dumbass orange binder I got. You see this right here? You see this? This is terrible. You have to use two fingers to open this binder. That's way more fingers than I should have to use to open anything. Like, one, two, that's so dumb. Why do you have to do that? There's no way to open it one-handed without doing like this. As you can see, I've done and it destroys it. It absolutely destroys it, just like that. So this is a terrible binder. I would never recommend this binder. Let's talk about the um, side label now. It pretty much says the same thing. Um, it holds 500 pages, if you do the math, which is very useful. Heavy duty, it's heavy duty. So what I mean by that is like, I can literally go like, it's good as new, it's good as new. Works fine. It's just got some cracks in it, that's all. It's got a clear cover, which is also very nice because you can like slip whatever you want in as I see, as I showed earlier, you can slip this in and take it out and stuff. Which is very nice. Um, and then other than that, it's got that dirt hand which resists tears, and it has this really nice material on the edges, as you can see. So, what this basically means is you can throw it at the wall as many times as you want, and it'll be fine. It'll be absolutely fine. Now, I don't know if your wall's gonna be fine, because this is heavy duty, you gotta remember that. Your wall will not survive a blow from this thing. It is going to completely demolish it. I was lucky that my wall didn't crumble right then and there. But I'm sure I have some structural issues now that I'm going to have to pay for. But you know what? That's the cost of having a really good binder. Um, it also comes in two other colors. You got this really ugly ass teal. But I mean, if this is all you've got, it's better than... This shitty binder, which, look at that. All I ever did was put this in my backpack. Imagine if I threw it at a wall. That'd be insane. It would not survive. No way. But this one, I could easily throw it as a wall. As I just demonstrated with this purple one over here. One last thing that I'd like to mention about them is they last for a really long time. This is mine from last year, and uh, I love this thing. I was going to use it again this year, but I um, accidentally bought another purple one. So... I have two now, and this one's my music theory textbook, and as you can see, it's got all this stuff ready to go. Anyways, thank you for looking at my review of the Avery Clear Cover Heavy Duty for Extended Use 
binder. I'm really excited to see what Avery does next, see how they push forward the, the binder technology. I think we have a real bright future ahead for the binder fan base, so I'm excited to see what they do with this. Um, if there's one thing I had to note about them, is that if they don't have anything in them, they do get a little bit triangular, but I don't think there's much you can do about that. I just know that hexagons and squares are the best shapes and that triangles suck. I guess not everybody caught on to that trend yet, but like, you know, it's whatever, it's whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Um, it's only going to cost me $100 by the end of the year if they don't change to a uh, rectangular. But yeah, that's it. That's my review of the Avery Clear Cover Heavy Duty for Extended Use Binder. Um, remember, it has hassle-free guaranteed complacement, replacement, which means, guess what? If you break your binder somehow, I don't know how, you'd have to have like a nuclear explosion to destroy this thing. You can easily get it replaced for free just by calling the number that's not on this piece of paper, but looking it up. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and uh, go out and purchase this binder right now or else I will slit your throat.